Hey, Matt. Mm -hmm. You think dolphins know any other vowels? Hello, and welcome to Anmo. My name is Anthony, and this is Matt. We've been looking for a way to enhance our game night by combining it with our love of cocktails, so we've decided to go through the A to Z of the Savoy Cocktail Book. This week, we'll be featuring Ticket to Ride and talking about the Abbey, the Addington, and the Adonis. So Matt, aside from this book being about Mr. Savoy himself, what else can you tell me about it? Uh, the book is actually not about Mr. Savoy. The, the cocktail book is a... It's a collection of cocktails from the Savoy Hotel's bar from collected by a gentleman, gentleman named Harry Craddock, who was a bartender of the 1930s. Pretty famous dude, and obviously the book has survived for a really long time. We, I actually sort of stole the idea from a gentleman named Eric Elstead, who did this as a blog, where he went through all 750 cocktails and documented his experience with them. Thought it was really cool, also has sort of that Julie Julia experience to it, and I was like, well, hell, we might as well do something like this and play board games because, you know, I like hanging did, out with you. Did, did you say 750 cocktails? Yeah, I thought I... Did I not tell you that there were... Did I not tell him that there were 750? So, Anthony, there are 750 cocktails in this book and we're going to go through all of them while playing board games and it's going to be a hell of a time. What do you say? That, you know, I can't think of a way to spend what is now a large amount of time. <laughs> uh, so... Why don't you tell us about the first cocktail then? Absolutely. The first cocktail of this grand adventure is gonna be the Abbey cocktail. For that, we'll be using one and a half ounce of gin, three quarters ounce of Kina Lilit, three quarters ounce of orange juice. You'll add a dash of Angostura bitters. You'll shake and strain that into a cocktail glass and that'll net you this tangerine dream, the Abbey. That's nice. It has the really good citrusy flavors of the orange. The botanicals come through from the gin. They sort of balance each other out. The Angostura has a nice spice to it. I'm looking at your face and seeing that it's not for you. So what are your thoughts on it? That cocktail was gin. I, I think gin and still gin. And I did not enjoy any aspect. Oh, you know, I. I am, I'm, I'm feeling the orange juice now uh, on top of all that gin. I, so That was not enjoyable. For everybody who doesn't really know Anthony that well, I will preface this series by saying that Anthony's choice of drink at the moment is... Delicious? Mm, uh, Tasty? What I would say is like a mound of sugar with a dash of alcohol inside of that. Stir it together I... and... I will not discount that. However, I believe my cocktail range has grown more than that. But regardless, this cocktail was not enjoyable to me. Uh, but what was enjoyable was we played Ticket to Ride this week, which was a very light and refreshing game. Unlike this drink, uh, we had plenty of time to talk. We had plenty of time to have cocktails. It was fun. It was quick, easy. What do you think? I totally agree. I think that you taught us the game in about five minutes and then we were on our feet playing in about 10. I really enjoyed that I didn't have to focus as much on the mechanics of the game. I could just sort of drink and chat, you know, shoot the shit. And are we allowed to say shit? Is this a kid show? So, you know, we just sort of, we were able to futz around without having to focus on too many heavy game mechanics, which I found really fun and enjoyable. Yeah. Uh... As I think I will say, it's, it's light, it's easy. You could probably teach it to any of your younger family members. You could probably play it with some of the older ones. It, it felt like a great game for everybody. So, uh, yeah, I guess I have to finish this drink. Uh, <laughs> now that we've finished that drink, could you tell us about our next drink? I mean, could you have, like, any more disdain in your voice for that cocktail? Uh, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 All right, so hopefully this next one will get you. For the second cocktail of the week, we'll be doing the Addington. For that, you'll be using one and a half ounce of an Italian vermouth, one and a half ounce of a French vermouth. You'll shake and strain that into a medium glass. Top that up with a little bit of soda water. Twist or express an orange peel over the top, and that's going to get you this cocktail. Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice. It's very light. It's very, it's refreshing as well. The soda water adds a nice bubbliness to it. The two vermouths are sort of acting in a nice balance. That orange hits you. Uh, I think this sort of goes more into what we would consider like an aperitif cocktail, uh, which just means that it's a lot less spirit, or there's no spirit in it, so it's not spirit forward. Mm, yeah, it's balanced. What are your thoughts? Uh, definitely much better than the cocktail we just had before. Uh, way more my speed. Uh, I had to learn a few different things for this one. You mentioned expressing an orange peel, uh, which was a twisting motion you took. It leaves sort of that mist out of the peel in lingering at the top of the drink, so you smell it as you drink, which is really nice. Also, the term dry, you'd think I'd know this after we've drank probably various cocktails together, as well as wine and other things. Dry is that feeling on your tongue where it's dry. Should have probably already known that. But it does open up your mouth for that sweet and that uh, aroma of the orange, which uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed in this drink. It's definitely more in the direction I want to be heading. Speaking of direction, uh, we played Ticket to Ride, which is a two to five player game published by Days of Wonder. It is a game in which you will spend turns collecting train cars of various colors, uh, which you will use to claim routes. The longer the route, the more points you'll get. You gain additional points from completing destination tickets, which interconnect specific cities. And a player who builds the longest continuous route will gain an additional 10 points at the end. So you mentioned when you're talk when you're claiming routes, that's where you're spending cards to claim the different routes, and they go from like three ra- three cars, four cars, five, and then six is the longest one you get. And that's also worth a lot more points if you can collect the ones that are six. Obviously, it's a lot harder because you have to have the same you have to have six of the same card, which can take a little bit of time. So sort of balancing that time there. And then you're also able to get more destination tickets, right? Like in the middle of the game. Correct. You can uh, pick up additional destination tickets throughout the game. But one of the sort of trade-offs is that any destination tickets you do not manage to complete, so any route that doesn't go all the way between your two destinations, those points will count against you. That was a much more enjoyable cocktail. So tell me about our last cocktail. Absolutely. The third cocktail this week is going to be the Adonis. For that, we'll be using two ounces of a dry sherry, one ounce of an Italian vermouth. You'll add a dash of orange bitters, stir and double strain that into a cocktail glass, and that'll get you this caramel delight. Mm Mm-mm. No, no, no. That is, that's too sweet. That's like, uh, that's brown sugar, it's molasses, it's praline, and then there's like some nutty flavor that I can't quite place, but that is, I know that makes me sound really bad, but that is too concentrated of a sweetness for me. What are your thoughts? It is it is concentrated, pure essence of, and the nut you're looking for is pecan pie. It is delicious. Mm. I... Uh, I I didn't know this existed. I am an enlightened human being for this. This is, there's 747 other cocktails we get to try and I hope we find another one as tasty as this. Uh, The only taste sweeter is the sweet taste of victory. Uh, I am so happy that I won this week and that I get to enjoy this cocktail at the end of it. What are you talking about? Your partner won this game. You did not win this game. Sorry. I should explain that uh, marriage is a sanctimonious union of two people in which we share all of our victories and defeats, which means that this week I was the clear victor. Uh, My partner employed a genius strategy of trying to attain the longest route. She did so uh, going around your route, which got in her way, but... Overcoming that, she managed to also complete two of the longest destination tickets, which rewarded her another 42 points, meaning she easily had the most points for this game. She did. I I am not refuting that your partner totally trounced both of us. However, my strategy for that game is to just start a route, collect my destinations, and go for as long as I can. Other players be damned, I'm gonna go where I want to and they can figure out how to get around me. Unfortunately, in this case, she did go around me and that made her have the longest route and that's the only thing I've ever tried to do in that game, which is kind of unfortunate. 
Yeah, because I don't think you've so. ever really ever gotten a longest route. And the players be damned thing is pretty particular though, considering I think you spent a turn petitioning all the other players to block your partner's route. I mean, yes. I, I wasn't about to let him win two weeks in a row. I would much rather... I would much rather you win than my partner win two weeks in a row. I just can't. I can't deal with that. I can't handle that. You so. see, and I would love for your partner to win two weeks in a row because that's also two weeks in a row of victories for me. I mean, any loss of yours is a victory for me. So uh, I'm going to finish up this drink here, and uh, I think that's going to wrap us up for the night. Well, we did it. We played Tickets to Ride. We drank three cocktails. I was the victor. What else could you ask for? You absolutely were not the victor, but that's not the point here. We made it through the first three cocktails. Nobody lost life or limb, so I'm going to consider that a success in my book. If you enjoyed what we're doing here, please join us next time. We'll be doing the next, we'll be playing Azul, and we will be doing the next three cocktails, the Affinity and two variations on the after dinner cocktail. If we've been doing anything that we could improve on, let us know. We're very excited to continue doing this and learning and playing board games. So whatever we can do to make it better, we'd be really excited to hear your thoughts. Yeah, and you can do so by commenting below, liking this video, or subscribe to help us grow. But seriously, like, all they have is the They can't do like any of the other vowels. They've just got like this.